My father cannot fight. So I will take his place. The Northern invaders will kill her. If I expose her, I will own people. You will now take the oath of the warrior. Loyal. Brave. Brave. True. After watching the video of Mulan, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? I am Frisella, I am going to tell you a bit explanation of the movie. Mulan tells of a Chinese woman named Mulan who was willing to disguise herself as a man to replace her father. The story begins when the country in central China was attacked by the nation of Han, led by Shen Yu. This made the government require compulsory military service for the entire Chinese family. That is, every Chinese family is ob obliged to send one son to take part in war training. But the problem is in the family Mulan, only his father is a man. His father was indeed a war veteran, but his age was no longer young. So it was not possible for him to take military service. But because he had no other choice, the father of the Mulan was selected in the compulsory military service program. Something which Mulan and her mother certainly did not want. Mulan then complained about this in the place of his ancestor. It was there that Mulan was determined to replace his father's position to take part in a military service program. Knowing that he was a woman, so he could not take part in military service, then disguised himself as a man. This he did to replace his father. The ancestor who saw the determination and great sacrifice possessed by Mulan then sent a small dragon to become a friend of his struggle. By falsifying the identity of the Mulan, managed to enter the compulsory military program to replace her father. But it, it is not an easy job for a woman to undergo compulsory military service because he must feel various hard physical exercises but Mulan still never gave up on it until slowly it became a prominent soldier in the military service program. But Mulan remained an ordinary woman when she could not deny that she had fallen in love with a conscripted leader trying to cover up those feelings as well as concealing her identity as a woman. But because of an event, the identity of Mulan as a woman was finally revealed and because it was considered deceptive, he was later expelled from the military service program. Until then, Mulan learned of an evil plan carried out by the enemy. Mulan then bravely took to the battlefield and show that a woman also had a courage that wasn't inferior to a man. So at the end of the movie, as we know, Mulan didn't give up to move herself. Even the Surin community also ignores the woman, but Mulan always tries so hard. My name is Sakar Witya Anjari and my student number is 3920201. Uh, in here, I will uh, continue explain about point of analysis with group theory on in movie more. Graceful, elegant, poised, polite. These are the qualities we see in a good wife. These are the qualities we see in Mulan. When a wife serves her husband, she must be silent. In that culture, women are required to become gentle and graceful to quality to be a good wife. And here it, it is seen that Mulan, as, as a woman, must have a good attitude so that she can become the qualities of good wife. Mana ayah bisa? Akulah sang ayah. Tugas ayah untuk membawa kehormatan bagi keluarga kita. Oh, anak perempuan, ketahuilah posisimu. And 
the next scan, Mulan is silent when she is giving her opinion about her father to join the army. It is a scene that Mulan wants to give her opinion, but her father tells her to be quiet, to be silent, because she is a woman. And her father is the head of the family. And it means that her father showed that the public setting is only for a man. In this movie, there is a scene where Mulan can't replace her father to be a volunteer for the army because she is a woman, even though she has the ability. She needs to pretend to be a man and run away from her house so she can join the army. Another reason why she joined the army is probably that she doesn't want to be married and want to pave her way. She just wants to be herself, but her family and the society don't let her be because she will bring disgrace to her family. This woman is the villain character who is called the witch. She has the same position as Mulan, which has great power too. People called her uh, actually a woman, a witch, because of the power or the ability that she has. Same as Mulan, she doesn't want to be called a witch, but as a warrior. She wants to be herself too. She wants to change how people look about women that should be graceful, calm, uh, invisible, protect the good name of the family by being a good wife. But she can't. She failed. She doesn't want to hide her power, so her family and the society abandoned her. Finally, she works with the enemy, but even though she work with them, she still doesn't get the recognition that she should have. She is still being called a, wa a witch, not a warrior, till the end. These are the scenes after Muran revealed her identity. She wants to tell them about the important thing about the truth behind the enemy's plan but no one heard her words or believed her even though she wants to help them they didn't want to listen to her anymore probably it is because she was lying about her being a man and she already left the army her voice could be heard after her friends changed their minds and told the rest of the team that they should listen to her. Uh, it's probably the proof that men's worth uh, has more power than women's worth. Okay, and this is other conflict from Bibi This movie is related to culture. In this culture, a woman needs to be calm, obedient, brave, works, pays pace with a good breeding and a teeny ways. Women are constantly being mute. She, she is expected to keep her opinions and talk to herself. The gender roles are prominent it appears when men have power over women. And this is show in the movie when Mulan stand and shall present when her name is called and she spoke when she is not alone to speak to the woman who will be finding a husband for her and this bring this honor to her family and the next uh, the theory present how Mulan is silenced when she is giving her opinion in the culture where men fight and talk she has and she has no right to express herself. Like I said before, the main thing, the public setting is only for men, where men can fight, can work, and women is only keeping at house or stay at house. Thank you.